Okay, so in this video, we are going to learn a very important property about the equivalent fractions. But before we do that, let me just introduce you to some notations. So what I have done is I have taken some fractions here, equivalent fractions in the first column and then there, there are these terms which I have introduced. So uh, N1, D2, N2, D1 and then we have to do some observation. But before that, just let me write these properly. So uh, this one, this is a fraction 1 by 3 equal to 3 by 9. So this is a, a pair of equivalent fractions. Now uh, we have defined something called N1 which means the numerator of fraction 1. So let me just write it here. So when I say 1 by this is just for clarity 1 by 3 equals 3 by 9. So this thing, this number here N1, sorry this is going to be N1 the numerator of fraction 1 then this I am saying as n2 which means the numerator of fraction 2 the number 3 is going to be the denominator of fraction 1 which is written as d1 and d2 is the denominator of fraction 2 now what we are going to do is we are just going to multiply the numerator of first fraction with denominator of second and the denominator of first with the numerator of second so that is just the notation so in this case the product of n1 with d2 is 1 multiplied by 9 gives me 9 and when I multiply this that is d1 with the numerator 2 so we have 3 times 3 is 9. So what is the observation? Products are equal. Okay. Now let us try this with one more example. So we have 1 by 4 equals 4 by 16. So what we'll do is we'll multiply these two as we did earlier. So we multiply the numerator of first with the denominator of second. So we have 1 times 6 is 6 and then we again multiply the denominator of first with numerator of second which is 4 times 4 and this gives us 16. So the observation is that these two products are again equal. So it is same. Now let, let us try with the third example and we will write this properly. So we have 2 by 3 equals 10 by 15. So again we multiply 2 with 15 and 3 with 10. So 2 multiplied by 15 gives us 30 and 3 multiplied by 10 again gives us 30. So again these products are equal. So what we have observed is when you multiply the numerator of a fraction 1 with denominator of the fraction 2 and the denominator of fraction 1 with numerator of 2 the products are equal and this is an important property of the equivalent fractions and it is also called as the cross product. So just let me quickly summarize what we discussed in the earlier table. The product first is nothing but the product of numerator of fraction 1 multiplied with the denominator of fraction 2 that is n1 multiplied by d2 and the product 2 is the numerator of fraction 2 that is n2 multiplied by the denominator of fraction 1 and we found out that the product 1 is going to be equal to product 2 and this is known as cross product of two equivalent fractions and this property is very important for us to find out equivalent fractions as we can see in the next example. So now we are supposed to find out the equivalent fraction of 2 by 9 that has a denominator as 63. So here is the problem statement. We have 2 by 3 is equal to. I have the denominator as 60, but here there is a box. So what is going to come in this box? So now how do we go about it? So earlier we did know that we can multiply this 3 by some number to get the 63. Sorry, this is 2 by 9. 
it's not 2 by 3 so we know that the, we have to multiply this number 9 by something that can give a 63 and uh, then we find out that number and multiply this numerator 2 by that same number you can do it that way but in this case we are going to use the cross product to find out this missing numerator now according to the cross product we know that this product 2 into 63 2 multiplied by 63 is going to be equal to this product that is 9 into some box now uh, just to simplify things I can write as 2 into 9 into 7 because 9 times 7 is 63 is equal to 9 into something now uh, what we can do is we can group this 2 into 7 together and keep 9 as a separate which will be helpful for us to compare so we have 9 into this sum box and now we can write it as 9 times 14 equals 9 times something now since this 9 is common on both the sides so we know that this box is nothing but equal to 14 hence the equivalent fraction that we are going to get here is 2 by 9 equals 14 by 63 now this is an equivalent fractions that we found out using the cross product now I would like to reiterate again that we could have found it out by finding out the number which was multiplied by 9 to give 63 in a way that is what we did here but then it is just using the cross products so that was about the cross products